All right, everybody, it is time for to review the fourth book in the Wheel of Time. Can't believe I'm done with it. The Chateau Rising, which is huge. It's almost a thousand pages, and I would say it's excellent. Like, now, since I'm currently caught up with the Stormlight Archive, that's technically my favorite. But this book just pushed it over the top of Stormlight, but technically I can't say it's my favorite because I'm not finished with the series or all that's all that's coming out yet in the series. Because, like, if, if I was to say my favorite completed series, which is all entries, I guess it'd be the Maze Runner. But Stormlight isn't completed and a real time I just haven't finished yet. But Shadow Rising was excellent and I want to talk about it today. It's going to be one of my longer reviews. The Shadow Rising, I read the audiobook again. I just, I love the audiobooks for these. It took me a lot because it was 42 hours, I'm pretty sure. But, yep, it took me about a week. Because all I do is watch, all I do is read audiobooks when I get audiobooks. I'm, I like to be, like, addicted to audiobooks. I like to be in the, you know. But... This was amazing. I know a lot of people's favorite. This is a lot of people's favorite in the Wheel of Time series. And at the first couple hundred pages, I was like, well, yeah, it's good. But why is it? Where, where's all the hype for this book? Especially this one. And then because it was like, it was good. But like, it was just Rand and Matt and Perrin just getting attacked. It was like, oh, so mysterious. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty, pretty average in a fantasy novel. But... This got good. Pretty soon, I really, really loved the storyline with Rand. No, not Rand. I love it when Perrin goes back to his, the hometown, the Two Rivers. And that storyline was excellent in this book. Excellent. Like, you gotta see, like, how he was, like, a lord to the people at home. And he got a, he had a help by Trollocs and the storyline with Fa'iel. Like, it was all excellent. Everything... Of Paranoid in this book was excellency, and I'm very happy with that. Rand also had a good storyline. Rand and Matt, when they went into the, I don't know, even I keep forgetting the names, but they went into somewhere and they got their answers. Matt, whole new person from Great Hunt and um, Eye of the World, not possessed. He's this really cool person, and I have this really cool new background for my phone, which is uh, Matt, Parent, and Rand. They're all there behind their armies, and it's just really cool. I have that fan art. It's one of my favorites. So, that's just really cool. It just, like, it gets you enveloped. Like, I read the audiobook all day at school. Couldn't stop thinking about them and, I don't know, just drawing my notebook. I drew this Eye of the World thing when I was listening to the audiobook. It's pretty bad, but it's, it's fine. <laughs> like, yeah, I... I'm not a big fan of anything like the dreams, like uh, the dreams, like anything in the dream world. Obviously, that was huge in Dragon Reborn. Not as much here. Don't really care about the dreams. Love the characters. Like I love um, Aglaine, uh, Uguain, Matt, uh, Uguain, Elaine, and Nynaeve. Very great trio. They work amazing together. Like. It's said to be the best, but I think it's the best. I think it's the best so far in the Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time is quite amazing. But I'm sad this is the peak, because a lot of people say it's the peak, and so much to go. And I know I have two books left before the slog. That's going to be an adventure. But I'm still excited for the slog, I'm going to say. I know it's just a lot of information and not knowledge. I'm prepared for it, I hope. I, I will be. I love this book. It's quite amazing. I think it just does everything well. It like comes to like destroy it, like the competition. It does it destroy the competition. This is top tier fantasy. I um at the start of this book, it was pretty slow. Matt, great character. <laughs> I'm just so happy that Matt is a playing character. 
Because I couldn't really tell what Matt was. He was just this demonic, possessed person who they had to help, and he was more of a plot mover forward other than a character. He wakes up in the Dragon Reborn. Whole new person. It's quite amazing. And he's on the cover in this book. Amazing. Still reading the ebooks. This is an ebook. And ebook edition. Love the trade paperbacks. Amazing trade paperbacks. They look so nice on my shelf. I don't know why I'm addicted to these. Yeah, The Wheel of Time. This book, longest book. I'm so happy with how it ended. And, like, Perrin's storyline was obviously amazing in this book. And you left you wanting more. If I could, I would just go straight into the fires of heaven. Super excited for that book. And now I just kind of want to keep doing videos on Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time is an amazing series. I plan to be one of the main parts of my channel. plan to talk about it a lot. do a lot of ranking videos, like ranking the books or something like that. When I actually do finish... But currently, it's amazing. And I can't recommend a book series more right now. Like, the Lord of the Rings fans, like, if you want just amount of lore, there's so many, like, clans, like, the Aes Sedai, the, the Ogier, the Murderals, the Trollocs, the Dark One is just, like, like the leader of the Trollocs, and, um, Aeol. The, there's some different clans. It's, like, a lot like Lord of the Rings in, like, all these like, history, and not as much history, because there's more ages, and just left, like, there's ages in Lord of the Rings, right, it's like, yeah, but, like, this is more of, like, like, a little formulaic age, but Wheel of Time has the best magic system I've ever read, like, this whole wheel, like, the Chosen One arc is tropey, but this makes it cool, it, like, it's, like, basically, it's not, like, it's not, like, an afterthought, it's like, oh, yeah, he, you are the Chosen One. But this one, it was known from the start. It was, like, very big in the, like, it's, like, a main part of the seaweeds. And that's amazing. And just, like, the science, like, the dragon, the whole concept of the dragon reborn. And, like, that he known to fight Belzamon. But he also goes mad. Like, men who can channel also go mad. And the last one, um, King, like, I keep forgetting names. I'm terrible with remembering names. It's Luce Farron King Slayer was the last Dragon Reborn. And it's cool how some people call Rand Luce Farron. Uh, Luce Farron. Because he's technically the Dragon Reborn and that's what people call him. You can see him being a leader. You can see Perrin be a leader in this book. Perrin. Amazing in this book. And that uh, Perrin just jumped up to one of my favorite characters. Obviously I loved Rand. I love Rand and Thor. I love the big three. Rand, Matt, Parent, amazing characters. Nynaeve, I love Nynaeve the best out of all of the other, of the others. My favorite character out of all of them, out of just, my favorite character in general is Tom Merlin. He's so cool. I look up to Tom Merlin. He, I always think of him as that guy, not Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec, but the other Ron from Parks and Rec who is like vegan and Ron Swanson hates him. But, like, he had a mustache, like, black eyebrows, and he was all white hair. He reminds me of that guy from Parks and Rec. And I think they should play him in the TV show. But, Tom Merlin wasn't as big as a name in this book, but he was in the last book. I mean, he was, Tom, Tom was in this book, like, quite a lot, but he, I loved it. Because he kind of travels with a lot of people. To this In this book, he kind of traveled. Like with Gawain and Elaine and Nynaeve. Last book he traveled with Matt on his journey. And he was in the last... He was in the last... He dies in the first book. He dies. But I'm so glad he's back. He kind of comes back in the second book. Some great arcs in these books. So, this video is way too long. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> I, I love talking to the time, man. I used to just store my videos longer. But now that I kind of like, I need to have a more discussion like this. <laughs> I don't make 10 minutes videos like my last couple of videos. My last video was only 7 minutes for the Dragon Reborn. But this is so much longer than the Dragon Reborn. This is basically the size of the Way of Kings. What kind of shocks me about this book is it's almost as big as the Lord of the Rings trilogy. 
in one book. And there's 14 books. So it's crazy how much, like, knowledge you can also pack. Like, Lord of the Rings, so much lore. Amazing storyline, but, like, just great lore. And that's, and just, like, dig deepness. And he was just a great fantasy author. Like, amazing fantasy author. But in a book series as long as this, you can do all of the stuff that, that Tolkien did. And put amazing characters, amazing storyline, more development. Like, it's not saying that Tolkien couldn't do it, but Jordan put enough room in his in his books to make it like that. And I think he's dominating fantasy right now. And it's kind of like on the brink between classic because it came out in the 90s, finished in like the late 2000s. So it's kind of like half classic, half of it was not it was like modern which is really cool it kind of like goes through the the, the brink and i love the shadow rising five out of five stars this is amazing series if you have not read it which i don't think you'd be deep into this video if not having read it but you should read it definitely i'm really out of the world first obviously but read this book